Hello friends, uh, in my uh, e-teaching Gurukul uh, YouTube channel, I am going to explain the another uh, video lecture of computer graphics that is known as a uh, 2D viewing. The, the 2D viewing topics is basically used for uh, when we see uh, whatever the world um, uh, coordinates are there, world objects are there, how that kind of objects or scenes is going to be captured by the camera or some uh, clip uh, viewing portion is there how to show that by a particular world coordinates into a viewing port so we are going to be ex um, uh, explained in this video uh, um, uh, towards this particular direction is how that uh, 2d viewing is possible and what are the different type of transformation and process are there so let's start with it uh, so this is called and 3d rendering pipelines are there because our object or the whatever the scene is there that are all uh, in the um, coordinate geometry of 3d coordinate geometry so these are known as a 3d plane or uh, 3d primitives so whatever the object or shapes and the uh, output primitives are there that are in the 3d model and this 3d uh, primitives is going to be um, converted by this uh, uh, transformation 3d transformation model this is the first step uh, of the transformation actually the pipelining is nothing but than collection of transformations so 3d primitives is applied on the modeling transformation so uh, it is a modeling coordinate 3d modeling coordinates means whatever the object and uh, the uh, shapes are available in the uh, out, uh, outside world or world uh, it is known as a 3d modeling uh, model 3d models are there that will be uh, converted by this uh, uh, model transformation and according to the whatever the light uh, reflected from that model that is the important part so based on that light uh, that particular portion of that object or the uh, model is going to be captured so lightning is also be there so it's an again a transformation is there so next transformation is viewing viewing means after the uh, portion of the light or the intensity or the uh, volume of the light uh, so uh, whatever the um, intensity is there um, from that object come from that object uh, that is going to be transferred as a uh, viewing transformation so viewing tra transformation is applied means which portion is, is going to be visible or which are not visible so according to that light that is going to be uh, captured by this viewing transformation and then next one is called a projection transformation after the selection is there uh, this portion is going to be visible and uh, the uh, whatever the uh, complete scene is there then that portion is going to be captured so you are just um, uh, viewing that particular portion and that is a particular portion is going to be projected from that uh, a projection transformation means an actual image is going to be transferred in the 2d sense that is known as a 2d coordinate so that is going to be converted in the 2d image means whatever the scene in the available in the 3d image or 3d portion uh, coordinates that is going to be called um, uh, display in a 2d coordinate that is called xy plane coordinates is there so uh, one example i am going to be explain is that so whenever you are using uh, your uh, mobile camera so you are just uh, take that uh, particular object means you are just uh, align your mobile with the um, um, back object whatever you are going to be captured so after adjusting that particular portion means your uh, viewing is uh, confirmed that you are going to be uh, you are going at the right position to capture that then you uh, uh, press your uh, capture button so after the capture so after this capture that is known as a projection so this is known as a projection means whenever you are going to be uh, press your capture button so after capturing the uh, projection uh, or oh, sorry uh, after capturing the uh, camera uh, button so that is going to be projected and this is known as an 2d projection coordinate and after that uh, you are going to be clip that particular portion means you uh, capture everything but you want uh, a specific portion and other portion is going to be clipped so which means that the particular window portion means particular uh, required area you are going to be select and the other remaining area is going to be discarded so that is known as a uh, clipping portion so after clip again you uh, get a 2d uh, projection coordinate is there and after that viewport transformation there means uh, up now uh, you are going to be um, show your image in which type of 
viewport viewport means which type of device it is going to be shown in circular device it's it is going to be shown as a rectangular portion or it is going to be shown as a square portion so that is your requirement so that that is known as a viewport transformation so by using this viewport transformation you are projected your image in a large sense or it is re reduced to a small uh, devices so that is the important part of this uh, particular that is known as a, a viewport and our uh, actual uh, concept or the um, interest of this particular video is uh, viewport transformation means 2d viewing how the 2d viewing is possible and now scan conversion means that physical device is go going to be uh, converted uh, raster scan system or random scan system is going to be used to scan convert and this is known as an image so whatever you see in your device physical device either in case of smartphone or in case of laptop or uh, simple monitor that is known as an image is going to be display that is 2d image is display so after this possible scan conversion so this is uh, the complete scenario of uh, everything is there you can see that uh, that is the top to bottom scenarios and uh, that is 3d image is there uh, outer world uh, whatever the scene is available in the world that is in the 3d primitive and uh, finally it is going to be stored in a uh, 2d image 2d based uh, 2d plane based image that is not xy image uh, xy plane based image that is uh, image uh, directly called image so uh, 3d to 2d conversion is there so now come to the point our interest is only this three uh, part that is known as a clipping whatever the projected image are there or projected portion are there uh, which specific portion I am going to be um, uh, show that or I am uh, going to be take interest on that particular portion that is um, taken as a uh, viewing portion and other will be clipped so that is known as a clipping option so viewport is theirs and then scan conversion so, so these three are our important portion of this particular video now come to the one 2d uh, after the 2d primitives that is called projected images that is going to be clipped what is clipping so clip portion of the geometric primitives reside outside windows means inside windows is not con uh, considered as a clipping clipping means that whatever the portion available in the outside uh, with respect to the respective portion uh, which are going to be show or which are uh, going to be uh, take interest to show that uh, or view that that portion outside that portion is known as a clipping so clipping definition is that simple outside portion which are not taking interest or not uh, as a consider as a uh, interest portion that is going to be clipped and the next one is called uh, after clipping the portion is going to be viewport transformation means portion is going to be show how it will be show tra transform uh, the clipped primitives from screen to image coordinates now come to the point actual physical uh, image is going to be draw in a physical device so that is viewport transformation is there and after this transformation hardware is going to be activated here and that actual device is going to be displayed so fill pixel representative primitives in screen coordinates means hardware means the screen hardware means phosphorus dot is going to be um, activated uh, and the image is going to be show so this is the case uh, 2d uh, rendering pipeline is there so you can understand that very well how the 2d rendering pipeline is there so uh, now we are going to be uh, um, explain this particular 2d viewing in the uh, visual form you can see that these are called modeling so the, the two different objects are there one in uh, is a cylindrical object and one is called cube object and when this two object is going to be aligned or converted in a wall coordinates they are look like this one so they are separate you can see that they are separate in the outer world but when we can uh, convert it into or consider into a world coordinate so they are look like this one so they are very pretty much closed or they are very close to each other so when we are going to capture some um, image from the camera you can adjust to um, uh, adjust to this uh, particular two object um, to take uh, this two object as a very close so that is the case of uh, angle whatever angle you are going to be close uh, choose that and that after that the wall coordinates is decide you are going to set your camera so this is your camera so you can say that uh, see that uh, this camera is going to be angled uh, and the angle is can and angle can be anything 90 degree angle 180 degree angle whatever angle you want you can tilt your camera to uh, take the uh, snap or take the picture so that is known as a viewing or projection coordinate means uh, whatever uh, uh, angle you are going to be take your picture that is your 
thing and after that decision so you just click that and that particular object means uh, that particular 3d object or uh, world coordinates object is going to be converted in a 2d object that is here you can see that the so 2d object means uh, it is uh, before that it is going to be converted into a normalized coordinate that is known as an intermediate uh, operation that is known as normalization so after this normalization actual image is going to be displayed in a video monitor or it can be displayed in a plotter or it can be displayed in an other devices smartphone devices projector devices and uh, any kind of devices so this world coordinates uh, means whatever the modeling is there that they are separate but in world coordinate they are very close to each other and then projected it and then converted into a normalized coordinate and then converted into the actual viewport actual viewport means whatever portion uh, or uh, in which which devices you are going to be show your uh, um, objects so that is no final so that is known as a viewport that is viewport so viewing pipeline uh, you can understand that very well uh, understand very well uh, by this examples so now come to the point some specific uh, portion is the two dimensional viewing two dimensional how it can be possible so two dimensional viewing transformation means from world coordinate scene descri description to the device coordinate scene is known as a uh, 2d transformation or two dimensional uh, viewing transformation so uh, this is the basic definition is there so you can see that whatever the uh, objects this is known as uh, this is a complete you can see that this is a complete world coordinate object so this is a world coordinate object but our interest to uh, particular this area is going to be clip or this area is going to be take as a view so uh, we are using a clipping window so that is known as a clipping window so that clipping window is captured uh, by this uh, particular uh, world image and converted into an viewport so that is the viewport so this is known as a window to viewport transformation that is known simple thing is there so clipping window is there that clipping is uh, window is going to be take and the other portion whatever the portion is outside this clipping window is discarded that is known as a clipping and after clip the viewport is going to be view so viewport uh, size is uh, uh, different uh, from the clipping window so you can consider as the viewport side is bigger than the clipping window or it can be a lesser than the a smaller than the uh, clipping window so how that can be possible uh, the larger clipping window is converted into a smaller clipping uh, viewport window so there, there is a, some formulas are there so how this can be possible so uh, in the next you can see that the clipping window is basically used for the clipping window select what we want to so that is the main question is there uh, clipping window definition is that clipping window selects what we want to see the viewport indicates where it is to be viewed means uh, where we want to show our clipped portion in which device that is where uh, it is to be viewed on the output devices so output devices or where means that the devices can be a projector it can be a mobile phone it can be a laptop it can be a desktop it can be a watch also so uh, that clipping portion is going to be show we could uh, design our own clipping window with any shape size and orientation so there is no foundation is there but there is a restriction restriction means a bond foundation but there is a difficulty you can say that no not a restriction that is can that can be a difficulties what kind of difficulties there but the clipping is seen using non-linear boundaries uh, requires more processing than clipping against a rectangular so you know that any shape can uh, you can take any shape any size but if the boundaries is non-linear that is going to be complex so it it will be create some more complex calculation uh, need some more uh, complex calculation to show the um, uh, clipping object into a viewport so if you take rectangle uh, clipping window that will be much more efficient and simple as compared to the non-linear boundaries so therefore graphics packages commonly allow only rectangular clipping windows aligned with x and y axis so that's why we are taking always taking the clipping window size or uh, clipping window size or the clipping window shape in a rectangular form other than the non linear form so here you can see that this is the conversion so this is the clipping window and the viewport window is there so viewport window can be in uh, different shape also 
so now 2d viewing pipelining so this is the pipelining process is there so the mapping of 2d world coordinates <coughs> seen description to device coordinates is called a 2d viewing transformation or window to viewport transform i have already told you about that uh, so whenever the clipping window is using to clip the portion and uh, transfer into a uh, different type of devices that is known as a viewport that is known as a window to viewport transformation so construct well coordinates in to a normalize so how it can be possible means that how to show that particular window to viewport finally viewport you need some intermediate operation the first operation that is known as a normalized transformation normalize means first operation is there and normalize means you just convert your window size means clipping window size into a very small scale that is known as a minus one to plus one scale and that is next operation that is called workstation transformation after that you convert this a uh, normalized value into a larger size value or smaller size value whatever you want so uh, this is the main thing is there so some example i am going to explain that uh, how this can be possible uh, so before that we uh, know we have to uh, understand that normalized transform what is normalized transformation is there to make a device independent conversion so how because our device is different clipping window is different and the viewport size is different so we are not uh, going to this uh, specific size we are uh, going to any other specific size which is not dependent on this particular size so independent conversion from wall coordinates to viewport define the picture coordinate in some units that is the important some units other than the pixels or use the interpreter to convert these coordinates to appropriate pixel value for the particular display devices means whatever the uh, display de devices or the viewport devices or the clipping window is going to be used as a coordinate values uh, so other than this uh, values we are taking some uh, specific smaller value to convert this particular clipping size to a normalized size so the device independent units are called normalized device coordinates so uh, the simple thing is that how to choose the normalized coordinates so in this unit the screen measure one unit wide and one unit length this is the main thing so you convert this uh, large size coordinates or large size coordinate value into a uh, very small that is called 0 to 1 unit means one unit length and one unit uh, height based measure is there so that is no, known as a normalized transformation so simple is that uh, suppose here uh, uh, we can see that how that can be possible so whatever the world coordinates is there that is called projected um, uh, coordinates is there the interpreter uses similar linear formula to convert the normalized to device uh, normalized to device coordinate to actual device coordinates actual device coordinate means viewport whatever the viewport size is there that is going to be show so uh, here the formula is there so actual device coordinate is x and y that is called actual device coordinates of x, x uh, means uh, monitor device coordinates there so uh, here we can see that this is can uh, this is an actual device coordinate so this is a d so actual device you can say that this is a d means actual device now our wall coordinates is going to be converted here so uh, what is x n and what is y n x n is a normalized coordinates y uh, y n is a normalized coordinates and now come to the one what is x w x w width of actual screen in pixels and the height of the actual in screen uh, in pixels so whatever the pixel is there height and width that is going to be converted in the normalized forms means that uh, before going to be converted in the actual size so this normalized value is going to be accepted then how to get this normalized value for example i am taking this one so suppose i have a screen of 640 suppose this is an 640 i have an uh, screen of 640 and 320 you can see that uh, this is 320 so this is 320 uh, so uh, this uh, 640 screen and 320 is uh, screen is going to be converted into an one unit length of and one unit height so means that this 640 is going to be converted here so that is uh, zero you can say that this zero to one and then zero to one so uh, this is going to be converted means 320 is going to be converted here you can see that this is the 320 means how this 640 is going to be converted 0 to 1 and 320 is converted 0 to 1 simple thing is that just divide this uh, 6 uh, all the values in the column direction means x direction by 60 uh, 640 and the y direction is 
uh, y values means y coordinates is going to be uh, by a 320 so you can see that the whatever the pixel value is there that is going to be converted into a 0 and 1 whatever the pixel value if you are taking that um, suppose uh, this is the sim uh, simple thing is that suppose if you are going to be uh, take the picture as a grayscale image so you have a 255 or 256 uh, values is there means 255 values there so all the pixel values means gray level values is divided by 255 so that is converted into a 0 to 1 values so this is known as a normalized form and now this normalized form is going to be converted here so this is the simple example and this is the uh, coordinate based examples uh, suppose you are going to take this uh, height and width how this height and width is going to be adjusted uh, suppose uh, this value is uh, um, i am going to take this um, uh, this is a 320 value suppose this is just half of the actual uh, per year, uh, then and 160 so how this uh, um, uh, three, uh, 640 uh, and 320 uh, coordinate is going to be converted into 160 so this is the main thing so this is xw and yw means 160 and uh, 320 is your xw and yw then how this xn and y -win, uh, yn going to be converted so this 320 is going to be converted into a normalized form 640 is converted into a normalized form and then this normalized value whatever the value in x direction and whatever the value in y direction is going to be created uh, so that is known xn and yn and this is going to be multiplied by this 320 and 160 respectively to get that position so that is the case of normalized so this is normalized this is uh, actual cal calculation is there so after the calculations that is known as a clipping window you, uh, you can see that that is clipping window and uh, uh, that is uh, actual device means viewing and a viewport so this is the process so first you apply this one normalize and that after the normalization you can apply on that so how it can be possible by using two equations so this is the normalized to device coordinates so normalize and viewport transformation you can see that world coordinate clipping window normalized square is usually uh, basically i'm uh, um, i have explained that zero to one so normalize windows um, basically uh, between this minus one to one and minus one to one in x and y direction respectively so how that is going to be converted that is the different, different uh, approaches there so you can apply approaches to positive value means whatever the minimum value is there here and from minimum value to maximum value is going to be converted into a minus one to one suppose this is an uh, five five suppose this value is five five and this value is uh, something you can say that um uh, for 640 uh, 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 640 and 320 is there so how this 640 and 320 is going to be converted into minus 1 and plus 1 that is called mathematical calculation is there you can apply that and convert it into a minus 1 to 1 and then again it is going to be converted into a screen viewport by using the previous formula this is your formula so here is xw and hw means that uh, xv and yv so uh, you can see that how that can be possible so this is the simple calculation there so now come to the point workstation transformation what is so we have um, studied that um, cleared that uh, what is called uh, normalization normalized transformation now come to the point second operation that is called workstation transformation the transformation which maps the normalized device coordinates to the physical device actual device coordinates called an workstation transformation means viewing transformation is the combination of normalized transformation and the workstation transformation so what is window here is definition is there a finite world coordinates area for displaying that means window define what is to be view and viewport an area on a device to which a window is mapped is called a viewport that means viewport defines where it is to be uh, displayed means what portion uh, we are uh, just taking some interest to display on the viewport and viewport shows that where to be displayed means which device is basically used to uh, that window portion is going to be displayed so that is the definition of window and viewport so my uh, friends if you understand this concept of 2d viewing then like this video, share this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So once again, thank you.